President Duterte says the government will not purchase any more military and arms equipment from the United States, citing U.S. President Donald Trump's new order prohibiting countries from buying arms from Russia. Bev Verdera with the story. President Duterte on Thursday led a turnover ceremony of housing units to police officers and soldiers wounded in the line of duty. Some 100 housing units were awarded to the beneficiaries in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, as the president thanked them for their sacrifices in keeping the country safe. As I saw it with my own eyes, the suffering and agony of a soldier of the Republic. And I thought that... Uh, uh, Baske na papano, we can make things easier for them. They go there to die. And some of them will die. Kaya yan ang, yan ang hirap dyan because that is the theory of, of their life. Duterte said the government would no longer buy weapons from the United States after U.S. President Donald Trump imposed sanctions on countries purchasing weapons from Russia. Kasi ang China... One of those parang na kasali sa embargo. Meaning to say, the recent announcement of Trump prohibits countries, including us, from any kind of transaction. I don't know about arms, but I, could, I have to read the full uh, message of what they want. Uh, in the time makabili. Pagka bumili ka sa China o maybe Russia, kasali ka sa embargo. Duterte added that he may soon issue an executive order banning the use of firecrackers altogether. The executive order at this early para warning na doon sa lahat that I am banning firecrackers. Gaya sa Dabao, tahimik. Okay, parang Bernie Santo. The president also renewed his attacks against members of the Catholic Church for criticizing him on the administration's war against drugs, this time likening priests to politicians. Kasi ina-attack nila ako sa pulpito eh. Huwag mong gamitin ito. Kasi palang liberal party ka na rin o PDP laban ka niya sa salita. Bakit mo ako ganunin? He then encouraged the public to read books entitled The Popes and Altar of Secrets so that Filipino Catholics may know the painful truth about priests and bishops. Abangan ninyo ang Holy Week. Dito ako magpalansang sa cross sa Bulacan. Oh! Toto! Pero huwag naman matagal. Huwag naman 30 minutos ka naka... For News 5, Beverdera, we are One News.